Pope Francis has apologized after he seemingly accused victims of Chile's most notorious pedophile of lying about a cover-up. On a visit to the South American nation, the Pope said he wanted to see proof that Bishop Juan Barros helped cover up the sex crimes of Reverend Fernando Caradima. He admitted he was sorry for his choice of words, but again said he was certain that Barros was innocent. The Karadima scandal and the overall issue of sex abuse dominated both his visit to Chile and the three-day trip to Peru which began late Thursday. From as early as 2002, his victims told church authorities how he kissed and fondled them in the Santiago parish he ran, but officials refused to believe them. Only when the victims went public with their accusations in 2010 did the Vatican launch an investigation that led to Karadima being removed from ministry. Karadima's victims say Barros knew of the abuse, having seen it, but did nothing. Barros has denied the allegations. I have to apologize, the Pope told reporters aboard the plane returning to Rome from Peru, saying he realized he had wounded many people who were abused. He added, I apologize to them if I hurt them without realizing it, but it was a wound that I inflicted without meaning to. I realize that it is a slap in their faces, and now I realize that my expression was an unfortunate one. Patricio Navia, political science professor at Diego Portales University in Santiago, said Francis had gone much further than Chilean bishops in acknowledging the sexual abuse scandal, which many Chileans appreciated. Then right before leaving, Francis turns around and says, by the way, I don't think Barros is guilty. Show me some proof, Navia said. He added that the comment will probably erase any goodwill the Pope had won over the issue. Navia said the Karadima scandal had radically changed how Chileans viewed the church. He continued, in the typical Chilean family, parents, now, think twice before sending their kids to Catholic school, because you never know what is going to happen. The Emeritus Archbishop of Santiago subsequently apologized for having refused to believe the victims from the start. His appointment outraged Chileans, badly divided the Osorno diocese, and further undermined the church's already shaky credibility in the country. Francis had sought to heal the wounds by meeting this week with abuse victims and begging forgiveness for the crimes of church pastors. But on Thursday, he struck a defined tone when asked by a Chilean journalist about Barros. The day they bring me proof against Bishop Barros, I'll speak, Francis said that there is not one shred of proof against him. It's all calumny.is that clear. Francis had defended the appointment before, calling the Osorno controversy stupid and the result of a campaign mounted by leftists. But the Associated Press reported last week that the Vatican was so worried about the fallout from the Karadima affair that it was prepared in 2014 to ask Barros and two other Karadima-trained bishops to resign and go on a year-long sabbatical.